Hello and welcome to the Heart Guardian podcast for healthy heart. Podcast where we delve into the latest development advancements in cardiac care. I am Dr. Aman Kapoor, your host, and in today's episode, we will be exploring a revolutionary tool in the field of cardiology: nuclear imaging. This non-invasive technique has transformed the way we diagnose and treat heart diseases. With nuclear imaging, we can see whether the blood flows through the heart as normal or deficient, and ascertain whether a part of the heart muscle is dead or alive that is viable. Joining us today is Dr. Jagdish Hiremut, a renowned cardiologist who will share his insights and experiences with this cutting-edge technology. We will hear real-life stories demonstrating how nuclear imaging has been a game-changer in decision-making for cardiologists. So let's get started. Dr. Jagdish Hiremut, sir, welcome and over to you. The cardiologist must get excellent information about the heart to take the right steps. Cardiac imaging is one such field which gives vital information to the treating cardiologist. In many a cases, the imaging becomes a turning point of the treatment. Outcome and the future also depend on this. Fortunately, imaging in the heart has improved leaps and bounds over a period of years. Other investigations like some blood tests give selective information. ECG, stress test, Holter give another set of information. Echocardiography, CT angiography give another form of imaging. But nuclear medicine and how it is enhanced the precision of decision making is what we'll see today. Nuclear imaging of the heart involves radioactive nuclear tracer. It's injected in the body through a vein. As it travels through the blood and spreads in the heart, a special camera, the gamma camera, takes the pictures. Thus, it's a non-invasive test where your body is not invaded by tubes or probes. The gamma camera can pick up areas that are highlighted by the nuclear substance. These images are interpreted by nuclear medicine experts who are trained physicians who have specialized postgraduate training in nuclear medicine they handle the radioactive substances also nuclear imaging is used for all parts of the body but for the heart it can bring on wonderful niche information and help cardiologists plan precise therapy for example mr t otherwise a normal individual underwent routine checkup at the age of 40 as a part of the company executive checkup The routine TMT, the treadmill test, was abnormal. The abnormal treadmill test indicates blockages in the coronary arteries. Mr. T underwent coronary angiography and was found to have a 60% narrowing in one of the important arteries. At a young age, there was a dilemma whether to provide preventive care or to do a stent angioplasty. Obviously the importance or significance of this 60% narrowing or lesion was doubtful. A less than 50% lesion was straightforward decision and a more than 75% would have been clearly angioplasty. But this 60% borderline blockage churned a lot of muddy water. Nuclear imaging was used to solve this dilemma. Mr T again underwent a treadmill test as before at the peak of his walk. on the treadmill at the highest heart rate that he achieved thallium the nuclear radioactive substance was injected into the vein the thallium reaches the heart and spreads along with the blood flow in all three areas of the heart at this stage gamma camera which is like a scanner took various images in various slices of the heart heart is a three dimensional structure and is interrogated in a two dimensional modality This done Mr T was made to come back to the nuclear medicine department after 4 hours by this time the thallium got stabilized into the heart and the gamma camera repeats the series of images all this takes a few minutes for the gamma camera to take the pictures the nuclear physicist now compares the two sets of images and gives the cardiologist the final impression If the thallium lights up an area which is called hot 
and it fails to reach that area it's called cold mr t had all areas of the heart hot and all three areas indicated good blood flow so the importance of the block was not so much he was put on simple medical treatment for a preventive kind of a therapy the abnormal tmt raised a suspicion the angiogram gave a borderline result but thallium provided the direction we commonly say that tmt is sessions court thallium is the high court and coronary angiography is the supreme court another use of thallium like radioactive agent is check viability of the heart muscle the heart muscle cell the myocardium is a active living cell it produces glucose energy and it's known for its metabolism if myocardium is metabolizing it is life or viable if it is dead it cannot metabolize when a specific radioactive substance reaches the myocardium through blood cell the cell actively takes it up through metabolism thus the cell becomes radioactive hot and is captured as a lit area on the gamma camera if it is dead thallium will not enter the cell and it will be read as a cold area on the gamma camera a fantastic life saving use of this viability test took place a few years ago in diwali a 10 year old over enthusiastic decided to light up his home with colored bulbs mishandled the electricity and got a massive electric shock he got flung about 6 feet and then became unconscious his pulse was feeble heart was racing heart was hardly moving on the echocardiography so when we received him we had doubts whether to give up on him or to try something heroic the answer came through viability test a quickly done test told us that the heart did not have any damage at all it was just stunned due to the electrical shock and it could be fully revived if proper treatment and care was given we put in very aggressive treatment with balloon pump for this 10 year old after 7 days he walked home because anyway his heart was not damaged and it could be revived by certain treatment the thallium the pet scan as it was done in this 10 year old boy the cardiac mr stress echo are the various tests which assert on whether heart is alive or dead or viable or not all have their merits and demerits but when in use judiciously they provide vital information especially when the heart has gone weak we've had instances when patients with multiple blockages and weak heart were sent for bypass surgery it turned out that the pet scan showed non viable entirely dead heart a bypass surgery in such patients would be risky and also it would be like watering a dead tree it was of no use such a person would be sent back and put on medical treatment or would be sent for a heart transplantation is the other way round a poorly pumping heart was neglected as a end of life treatment and was found to be fully viable on the pet scan one single crucial angioplasty turned the tables on this person and now he runs a half marathon from viability and ischemia detection let's move to some unusual utilities of the nuclear medicine it's a highly specialized field but now getting used more often than before a 24 year old lady came to us with a blood pressure of 200 by 110 which is alarmingly high she and doctors have been struggling with it for the past 6 months career marriage pregnancy were on hold because of this volatile blood pressure we subjected her to a pet scan to our pleasant surprise a tumor a pheochromocytoma was detected on a one spot of her body near the right kidney the cause of her high blood pressure was detected this tricky but effective surgery could be performed the blood pressure vanished and now she is a happy mom of two kids and a stable job and a good bank balance This reminds me of another high profile lady in her late 40s. She had a pacemaker implanted for low pulse rate. After a few months of this implant, she started running low grade fever and mild pain at the site of the pacemaker. 
As cardiologist, one is very wary of pacemaker infections because the wires are in direct connection with the heart and if the infection spreads, it will go directly into the heart and it could be a life-threatening medical emergency. Here in this lady, we had to be sure of infection at the site of the pacemaker and whether it has traveled to the heart or not. PET scan again effectively showed us that a minor spot was noted at the pacemaker site below the collarbone. Not a speck of infection was noticed inside the body. This made us confident to treat her with a short course of oral antibiotic, not the heavy treatment or explantation of the pacemaker. If PET scan had shown us infection along the electrode or the wire going to the heart, it would have been a very hectic treatment, the removal and explantation of the pacemaker. This was all avoided due to the precise test to detect the infection. Nuclear imaging won our hearts also. Thus, nuclear imaging has come of age. It forms a turning point in decision-making in cardiology in about 15 to 20% of all cases. It's a non-invasive, safe modality for the information offered it's highly cost-effective. As a cardiologist, I feel privileged to be practicing in today's era of this advanced technology. I have seen the transition in practice. Without nuclear imaging, the decisions were made on gut feeling and experience, but they would be highly subjective and would be subject of error. Nuclear imaging has added remarkable objectivity in decision-making and that's why I feel I am doing a precise job for my patients. Thank you so much, Dr. Jagdi Shiremar, sir, for generously sharing your expertise and insights with us today. Your valuable contributions have brought immense value to our discussion and inspired us to prioritize our heart health and take proactive steps towards healthier heart future. Now, I'm with this knowledge game from this conversation. I'm sure, friends, it's time for action. Embrace the power you hold to make positive changes in your life, nurturing the well-being of your heart. Remember to stay connected with us by subscribing to our podcast, following us on social media, and you can find a wealth of resources in the upcoming episodes filled with informative discussions and practical tips to support your healthy heart. Thank you for being an essential part of Heart Guardian Podcast for Healthy Heart. Together we can make and create a future where our hearts beat stronger and we live life to the fullest. Our heart and your heart matters. We are here to support you in every way. Goodbye for today.